Hey YouTube, aka Soggy Buns here, and uh, I just wanted to show you a little side project that I've been uh, working on. Um, been uh, thinking about building a Kerbal controller for Kerbal Space Program, and here I'm just gonna pull up the subreddit and show you uh, Kerbal controller. To where I, and just show you where I got the inspiration for this, and then just show you where I'm at. Um, this video is probably more just for me. Um, hopefully, someone else thinks this might be uh, somewhat uh, interesting. But if not, that's that's totally fine. Um, this will be a good way for me to keep track of my progress. But if you if you go over to uh, our Kerbal controllers, you can kind of see the inspiration here of what what's going on. If you ever played Kerbal Space Program, you know that you, they give you so much so much data and and you have so many controls. So I mean, look at this. This guy has um, these screens. <laughs> You know, three-way analog or three-way joysticks. Probably this is probably flight modes, gears, brakes, lights, solar shoots, ladder, arm, throttle control, stage button. I love this. This is actually what I'm going to show you is my stage button. Like, yeah, this is pretty cool. This one I love the concept of this one. Very ba simple design, but looks awesome um, now what I'm doing is totally overkill probably uh, I've seen some guys use some Arduinos that are the, the higher Arduino boards like the Legos and a couple others um, so as you can see I'm using a Raspberry Pi 2 here and part of the reason why I'm using a Raspberry Pi 2 is because I'm using uh, this mod, the KRPC uh, Kerbal Remote Programming something or uh, whatever it's called, and they have a C Sharp um, SDK to their their APIs to get all of this data. And what I'm doing is actually have .NET Core 3.1. Uh, it's 3.1.201 so it's the latest version of .NET Core 3 and with that you can um, program a Linux single board computer and so that's what I have is a Linux single board computer the Raspberry Pi and so part of this is to just learn or get familiar with uh, .NET Core on a Raspberry Pi other part of it is to have fun, uh, have fun playing Kerbal Space Program. So I don't have a lot of experience with Kerbal, as you're gonna see right here. <laughs> I've only just barely begun, but that's all right, because I'm here to learn play this game uh, tie it in with you know take a computer game and tie it in with a Raspberry Pi so I don't know I think it's cool so let's go ahead load this bad boy up um, currently right now I we can run through the code uh, a lot of people say codes boring but um, it's really nasty code, but, um, I'm using this KRPC, using system, um, system device.gpio. You have to install the Google protobuf, uh, whatever, but anyways, basically what this code does is it spits out a lot of data and then if you know anything about Kerbal Space Program, you have stages, and that's what this button's gonna be. That's what this button's gonna be. This 
rocket here. Let's go ahead. Okay. So, we'll do is we'll go ahead and start running our program. Oh yeah, and this is another awesome thing is <laughs> um, remote programming. Like, I have Visual Studio Code running on my desktop, the same one that Kerbal is running on, but I have the Raspberry Pi, I'm just SSH'd into it over a network cable. It's pretty cool. Alright, so uh, let's blink an LED. It's just uh, starting. That's just some uh, code that got left in there. Okay. So we got some information. Our crew member is Mr. Bill. And what we will do. Yeah, you, sweet. You can see it right there. What we'll do is I'll go ahead and push the button and we'll have blast off. Oh, I forgot to throttle. See, I told you I'm a noob. And see, the cool thing is, is if, if you watch any other like BPS, BPS dot space and watch his rocket builds, like he builds actual rockets and he does these things called um, vector control, no, VTS vector thrust control systems I could have the Raspberry Pi do that have it program and like basically do 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 keep it like this okay so usually what you do when you're starting to crash like this is you press the space bar but we have our stage button pretty cool <laughs> So the possibilities are endless. This is just um, first stage. Just wanted to show everyone kind of what I was doing here. Um, one cool thing is you can stream a bunch of data. And so I was thinking about using something like this to stream, like you see our um, altitude here, stream altitude there, you know, just like kind of like those other boards. So yeah. That's what I'm working on right now. So I thought I would just do a quick little update. Hope everyone's doing safe. Hope everyone's being safe. Um, hope everyone's families are doing good. Um, of course, if you want to see the progress of my controller, go ahead, subscribe, like it, help share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.